So my latest watch has just arrived. This is the Vostok Komandersky. Uh, there's a lot of people who have been raving about Vostoks, um, mainly the Amphibia. But um, d d that one doesn't appeal to me. I, I don't like um, the dial on it. So I went for the Komandersky, which um, looked a bit, for me, it looked a bit better. Um, so let's see. This has come, I, I believe, directly from Russia, because it seems to have a... A Russian uh, postmark on it. One watch, value 11 euros. Hmm. And I didn't even have to pay any customs on it. So let's get it open and uh, see what this watch looks like. There's not many people who have got these uh, common derskies. I'm expecting the strap to be a complete lot of junk. It actually feels quite heavy. It's, uh, yeah, not an impressive box, but then I can't remember how much I paid for it. Um, I'll have to have a look and tell you how much I paid for it. No uh, chocolate, unlike Aaron got. There we have it. I think it looks like there's instructions. That must be the warranty. How to use it. Is it all in Russian? Yeah, I believe it is, yep. Yep, so I don't think they're that difficult to sort of work out. There's the watch. Is the camera going to focus on it? Slowly. Yeah, the strap is awful. Just the look of it, I can see it's a terrible strap. So this is the dial. I'm not, I don't quite like that. There was another one with a different bezel. But I just didn't like that bezel at all. Um, this one isn't that great either. So I might change the bezel or just completely remove it. That's what it has on the back. I'm not quite sure the waterproof on this. That is an awful strap. Really bad. Um, yeah. So that's going to be... I think it's 18mm. I don't know if I've got any 18mm. I might have some NATOs or something. Let's give it a wind. Oh, that's awful. Yeah, I mean, that's quite common. See the way it, it wobbles. I think a lot of people, when they first get it, they're like, oh my god, it's broken, but apparently that's normal. Does it? Yeah, it's a rotate. I don't quite understand why it's a rotating bezel. There's no mark in it. That's incredibly stiff as well. Hmm. non-hacking you've got to pull it and keep it pulled if you stop yeah uh, that's terrible wow that's awful uh, I think the t do you change the date by going backwards and forwards oh I really hate the way you um yeah I think you got to go backwards and forwards on it. No, oh, it's not moving. Hmm. I'll have to have a look at that. But am I impressed with it? Absolutely not. This is an awful watch. Uh, maybe I paid what 30 pounds or less or what's that about 40 dollars or something 
but everyone raves about them. They're fantastic, and they've got all they've got this history. And so I thought I'd have a look at it. And so far, my impressions of it is a complete load of pants, poorly made, very tinny sort of look to it. It's not impressive at all. Um, to be honest, I'd rather have um, a Seiko 5 um, or um, even a Timex. Um, completely un unimpressed with it. I don't know why everyone raves about them. The look of the dial is just... its like it, To be honest, you know what it's like? It's, it's a kiddie's watch. This is the sort of watch I would expect to give to someone who's like, not even a teenager, a, a below a teenager, a 10 year old. This is the sort of watch you would give a 10 year old. Yeah, awful, awful, awful. I'm gonna wear it, I'll come back with a, um, <laughs> yeah, maybe I'm being a, being a bit harsh to it, but straight out of the box, I don't like it. The way that it feels, it feels cheaply made, probably because it is cheaply made. Yeah, not impressed. So I'll wear it for a bit and then, then give it away, I think. I don't think this is gonna stay in my collection at all. I'm not impressed with it at all. Uh, if you saw one of my other videos, I bought one, uh, a watch from China. And uh, that is so much better than this watch. I might do a comparison between the two later on. But that one is just better quality. It feels much nicer. Com considering this is a brand new watch. Yeah, not impressed. All right, I'll get back to you after a few days and tell you what I feel about it then. If my... Uh, Mind has changed. Okay. I've been wearing the watch now for two days. And normally I would um, wear a watch for a week or if not longer, but I just couldn't, I just couldn't wear it any, anymore. Um, <laughs> words escape me. This is a, a dreadful watch. I, I don't know where to start. Um, Okay, let's start with the dial first. Um, it looks like it's made from sandpaper. Uh, it's just poorly finished. It's uh, look at the um, the hour markers, um, especially the um, ten and twenty-two. Look how close they are, and then compare that um, to the other ones, the twenty and the eight, and uh, the fourteen and two. The gap between the the markings. It's either huge or it's literally right on top of it. Um, my um, four-year-old niece could probably do a better job of... Uh, I don't know if it was painted on or printed on, um, but it's terrible. Um, this, this, it's, it's got so many flaws, I just don't know where, where to, to start and where to stop. Um, the uh, the hands that they don't line up properly. Um, if you take a look at this, um, uh, you notice that it's nine o'clock. But look at the hour hand; um, it's not at nine o'clock. Um, yeah, it's slightly out, but it shouldn't be. Um, it doesn't line up to the nine until um, uh, I think five past um, nine. So the the hours have not been uh, sorry. The hands have not been placed on correctly. The the hour hand is off. Uh, the date wheel is is faded. Um, I don't know if they've left this dial out for for like a year or two. Um, the if you look at the the twenty two, it's just faded. Um, it's very hard to read. It it just looks like it's been left out, and it, that probably could be something uh, to do with the dial as well. Why it's um, looks so bad? It could have been left out. Um, I said earlier it's got this um, this bezel that rotates but there's no markings on it so that's a bit useless. I know you can buy this watch with our markings on there. Um, I guess they've just been a bit cheap and just stuck another bezel on there and called it a different watch. Um, the strap, um, yeah I know it's famous for being rubbish and frankly 
It is. Um, look at the holes. It looks like it's just been punched with a screwdriver. Um, I was going to actually change the strap. Um, I've got some here. But I didn't want to sully my straps with uh, with this watch. Um, the watch is going back. That's it. I mean, as soon as I finish this video, it's going back. I, I don't want to keep this watch. It's, it's, it's awful. Um, the crown I showed earlier... Um, it has a wobble to it, um, and they say that that's common. Um, the reason, I don't know who, if it's Vostok or other people have made up this, they say it, it has this wobble, so if um, if the crown is hit, um, it won't damage the inside of the watch. Um, but if that's such a great factor, why are not every other watch manufacturer doing that? Why isn't Rolex doing that? Um, their Submariner um, is, was used as a tool watch originally. Um, they never had this wobbly crown. Um, if it's something so great, Seiko, Rolex, Amiga, Breitling, um, you know, Man on the Moon doesn't have this. Um, that's been to the moon. Uh, people take their Seikos diving, doesn't have this wobble on it. Um, I personally think it's probably something manufacturing is wrong and they thought, oh, well, it's going to cost too much to fix. Let's just say it's it's to protect the, the movement if it gets not. Um, it, I mean, it just makes no sense. If it was such a big deal, other manufacturers would do it as well. Um, in terms of timekeeping, uh, it's dreadful. Uh, in the two days, I synced it up with GMT time and within that two days, it's now two and a half minutes fast. That's just terrible. Uh, th they say that this um, doesn't need a service for 10 years. Um, so when would you take it in for a service after 10 years? When it stops telling accurate time, like being fast over a minute a day? Uh, does it need a service now then? Where's the 10 years? And who says it's 10 years? Again, Vostok? Have they invented some sort of lubrication, some sort of seal that doesn't need replacing for 10 years? Any mechanical watch would need to be lubricated. That's a service. And they're saying this doesn't need it for 10 years. Why? What? If, they, if they've invented some lubrication that's so good that's going to last 10 years, why hasn't, again, Rolex bought out the company and uh, taken on their um, um, science and said, right, our now Submariners don't need a service for 10 years because we've got this special oil and these special seals that Vostok um, are using, so we don't need to service our watch. Again, I think it's just a gimmick. I, I very much doubt this would last 10 years. It's telling terrible time now, never mind in 10 years' time. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm just completely lost for words. It's incredibly poorly made. It's got a real tinny feel to it. Um, yeah, the, it's got this gimmicky feature that, yes, the Russian army use them and they're super tough and they'll do all sorts of stuff to them, but we're talking about the Soviet Union here, you know, the one that doesn't exist anymore, um, the one that lost the Cold War, so if they're so great, you know, where are they? Uh, and yet we're supposed to say this watch is fantastic because it's produced for the Soviet Union army. It's a gimmick, a complete and total gimmick. This is, it's a useless watch. Um, that, I mean, that's my opinion. People will probably um, comment to say I'm a complete moron and it's a fantastic watch. It, uh, it's cheap. Yes, it's very cheap. Um, people buy these and they modify them. But Again, I don't see the point of doing that. You're buying a watch for $50 and then you'll spend another maybe $100, $150 changing the dial, changing the, the hand, changing the bezel. Um, a strap on this is going to be more expensive. A decent strap with these, the three straps I just showed you are more expensive than this entire watch. So you're spending more money to modify a watch. But in the heart of it, the, the actual movement is still rubbish. So you you just you you what do they call uh, a a pig in a suit or something? That's what this is. This is just 
terrible. I, I, I can't put into words how bad this watch is. Why, why, uh, why do people rave about it? I just don't get it. Uh, the loom on this is horrendous. Um, it shines brightly for 60 seconds and then it just fades away to nothing. Within a minute, the, you can't see the dial uh, markings at all. It's completely useless. You'd be better off not having any loom whatsoever. Um, the way they've applied it, it's just sort of stuck on. I, uh, you know, yeah, I, like I said before, it's a cheap watch. Um, but if you want a cheap watch, this is a cheap watch. They cost the same price. If you want a, like a, people buy this because they want to feel, yeah, a military type and uh, I don't know if they're, these are the guys who play too many video games and then think they're actually in the real world that because they're wearing a Vostok which is military adapted and then, yeah, it makes them feel like they're part of the military or something, I have no idea, but you got this Casio, cost the same, I mean I, I only paid a penny for this because I got it very very cheap off eBay because some seller was selling it dirt cheap, but even at full retail it's the same price as this. It's 100 meters water resistant, it's got a day date, it's got a much better loom, it's more accurate, it's probably better built, you could, people say a beta watch, this is a great beta watch. This is a beta watch. Casio, you could do just about anything with it. It's not um, mechanical, so you don't have to worry about dropping it or damaging it in any other way. The Casio is a much better watch. Uh, it, you could, you could, 100 meters water resistant, you can take it swimming. Uh, people have commented on my other video about the Casio that they use it for mountaineering and all sorts of other stuff. It's got a rotating bezel, which does work. It's just an all-round much better watch than this. Yeah, again, quartz, but if you want a mechanical watch, what about this? A Chinese, again, watch, so a mechanical movement cost exactly the same amount of money, and look at the difference. This is a far superior watch. This is a 40-year-old, more than 40-year-old watch that I bought from Shanghai, and it's way better in terms of build quality, timekeeping, looks, everything about it. There's no gimmicky crown, um, there's no to say oh it's, it doesn't need a service for 10 years which I again very much doubt with the Vostok. Look at the dial on it, it's just so much better and it's the same price. You can pick up these for the same price as this. Why? Why, why would you buy a Vostok? I just don't understand it. I'm sure some uh, Vostok owners will pour scorn on me by telling you that this is a complete useless watch. Um, but if if that's you, then please leave a link to your video telling me why this watch is fantastic. What? Why? Why do you? Why would you buy this watch um, above to any other watch? What's so great about it? Uh, I've been watching other people's videos, um, uh, and everyone says, yeah, it's a great watch, it's a great beta watch, but there's so many other watches out there that are far superior. For the same price, yeah, maybe some are a little bit more expensive, a Seiko 5 is gonna be more expensive, but it's a much better watch. Um, again, people will rave that this has got an in-house movement. Well. So what? Seiko's have got in-house movements. It's not difficult to make a rubbish in-house movement that will gain more than a minute a day. How, how difficult is that? It's more difficult to make a good movement that'll last a long time and will be accurate. Anyone can, can get a movement. You can, I could go to China, um, buy a thousand movements Put them together myself and say yep it's my movement and then stick it in a cheaply made case uh cheaply made dial cheaply made um strap and they say here you go fifty dollars um you don't need to serve it for 50 years and and yeah it's got history because it was used by the russian army that's supposed to be some great big deal it it isn't 
I, if somebody asked me, uh, would I recommend this watch? No, absolutely not. If you want to buy one, go ahead. I wouldn't stop anyone from buying this watch. Um, this this video is my opinion. If you like Vostok's, um, good on you. Um, if you can deal with the cheaply made quality and uh, poor timekeeping, that's up to you. Uh, people have this as a second watch, uh, again, beta watch. I hate that term, beta watch. Um, but compare it again to this. Which, which you know, comment below? Which one would you rather have, the the Vostok or the or the one from from China? For me, uh, there's no comp comparison. The same price, and I'm getting a much much better watch. I, I I'm just lost for words. Uh, I have never um, owned a watch as bad as this one. That's all I can say. Um, I actually emailed the guy and said, listen, I'm sending it back because it's a complete load of junk. Um, again, yes, people will hate me for, for this, but it's my opinion. I don't like this watch. If you like it, all power to you. You know, comment below why you like your watch, make a video, put a video link there. I'm more than happy to to have a video shared um, where people can go to yours and you can tell me why yours is so much better and I, I would love to I would love to see other videos there's not many common derskies out there everyone tends to buy the um, the amphibia um, yeah maybe the amphibia is better than this one I don't know um, but yeah I don't know maybe I'll, I'll, I'll swap it for an amphibia and have a look at that um, Maybe that one will be better. Uh, most people have the Amphibia, it could be a better watch. I don't know. Um, do you, does your hands line up? Do, does, is, is the dial much better? Everyone has this Scooby-Doo one, which again, I hate that stupid name for it. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I just can't, I, I'm completely lost for words, even though I've waffled on for quite a bit. But that's the video. If you don't like it, Please tell me why you love your Vostok and what makes it so appealing to you. Um, how long have you owned it? Um, is the timekeeping accurate? I mean, just about everyone I've, I've video I've seen, people are saying, yeah, it's terrible accuracy, but it's cheap. Just because a watch is cheap doesn't make it good. So let me know what you think. I would love to hear.